All right, here's a second view of the female reproductive system. This is that 3D model I was telling you about. So just to get our bearings, there's an ovary right there. There's another ovary right here. These little things right here, these are the oviducts coming around. This big structure here is the uterus, okay? So let's remove this and see, oh my gosh, she's pregnant. So here's the, the uterus again. Uh, you can't see the tubes coming in, but if you remember that previous model, they enter. And this one, this in this case, this there's been a fertilization and uh, an embryo is developing. You can see that, that it's attached to the inside of the female's reproductive system by this right here. This region would be the placenta. And we'll talk about that stuff in the next uh, week, next week's material. The myometrium's out here, endometrium's around that, uh, embryo, the pink sort of stuff. And down here's that cervix. So there's the cervix, cervical canal, internal os, external os, and then this right here is the vagina. So you can see that the vagina, the vaginal uh, opening is posterior, or dorsal I should say, to the urethral opening. So females have a separate uh, urinary and reproductive opening. Uh, the vagina uh, opens up here to what you'd call the external genitalia. So with, I think you can kind of see it. I may have to flip it up on end a little bit. Let me know if I can do this, faithful assistant. All right, so now what we're looking at out here are the external genitalia. This whole structure would be technically called the vulva. So the female's external genitalia, which is often incorrectly called vagina, it is really should be called a vulva, but do what you like as long as you know what it is. So then we have two labia, and these are protective and sensory. There's labia majora, the outer, uh, larger labia, and labia means lip in Latin, and the labia minora, or this is one of them, the, the right side. So these are both protective uh, in the sense that the female's you know, reproductive and urinary system is kind of more exposed than a male's. There's a, this is all mucous membrane right there, so you kind of want to have some, some covers for it. Uh, and, but it's also uh, got a lot of innervation, so provides stimulation. And here goes a little piece of, of uh, spongy erectile tissue, which is homologous. That means it comes from the same, in this case, from the same embryological origin as the erectile tissue in the male's penis. And this is the clitoris. So the clitoris is both uh, the same material ultimately as the male's penis, but it also serves kind of the same, fun one of the same functions, and that is stimulation, really very innervated uh, mass of blood-filled, again, uh, erectile tissue. That's it for this model.